Have you ever wondered how epic it would be to live in the midst of an apocalypse? Have you felt repressed under the powers that rule above you or are you simply tired of living in peace? Don't you just love to go absolutely bonkers and insane in a place that has no command over you? Well, good news, we have just the right place for you. Hello everybody, it's your boy Anarchy back at it again with another newcomer's guide to the nation of Chaodia. It's a beautiful nation filled with many articulate anarchists living under the same belief that if there was no government, everyone would be living a prosperous, peaceful, perfect, and happy life under a utopian civilization. There's no particular government or a particular leader or leaders. But because there is no leader or government for our country, there's no solid, well-grounded economy to go around. Next thing you know, on one side of the nation, there might be someone practicing anarcho-capitalism where you're not forced to pay any taxes, nor does the government force you to, to abide by certain laws on how to run a business. Another side of the nation might practice anarcho-communism where there's no social classes or higher, hierarchies and the people are in charge of how the production goes. Or, on another note, there could also be people ha practicing anarcho-socialism, where there's no... where everyone tries to work together despite their individual rights and beliefs, which I firmly believe isn't exactly effective. In fact, all of those aren't effective. The way I do it is different, and where everything is all free. But those are just one of many few examples of how the economy works in this nation. For who is in control? As I've said before, no one is truly in control of our nation. And as for the people and their rights, anyone can do it, whatever they want. You wouldn't be condemned or prosecuted for any wrongdoings. Which is something I take advantage for every day. You see all that this... You, you see all that stuff in this play? That's all the stuff I managed to find while I was living in this anarchist nation. You get some good delicious food. You got some water. You got yourself a PS5 and your mom's jewelry box. Ain't that totally neat? Since there is no leader or leaders, there is no government. And because there is no government, there's no laws. And because there is no laws, there is no law enforcement. As for the daily lives of citizens, everyone ex is expected to at least see violence and chaos amidst the streets. Although there may not be any government oppression, there will definitely be no government provisions. The people will have to find food and water for themselves. If they're, if they're lucky, they might be f able to find some by a nearby river or if they have enough resources in the land. And because there is no government in the nation of Kayodia, more citizens are likely to move out, bringing the population lower than it has ever been before. For shame. They're missing out. Citizens are also prone to joining corrupt societies so just so they could get by. And we can't forget citizens living in constant fear that they must protect themselves in order to survive. Since there's no law enforcement, you can't call in the police or the ambulance or anyone who is able to send aid to you or your families. That's why you're gonna need one of these. Or these. Or these. Or maybe even traditionally, these. Now before I end this video, I want to say our nation's motto. Freedom fighting forever. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe, farewell, and may we see you here in Kaodia.